Hi, I'm Graham, and this is Man V Film. Welcome back, and this is another Blu-ray update. Um, things are getting really bad at the moment. I tend to be buying far too many, more than I can actually watch, and I'm getting terrified uh, to actually look at my bank balance. So I'm going to run through the movies that I've bought this month, and I'm going to probably never get to watch them. Takeshi Miki's 13 Assassins was one of my favourite movies from previous years. 13 Assassins is a samurai tale and a revenge mission rolled into one. It is about a group of ramshackled uh, assassins that come together to kill the local shogun who's making everybody's life an absolute misery. It is a fantastically thrilling movie with an unbelievable 40 minute action scene at the end that has to be seen to be believed. It is a great film. If you haven't seen it, you should go out and find it as soon as you can. Elite Squad. Elite Squad is a movie that I haven't seen as yet. Elite Squad is a Brazilian film directed by Jose Padilla, who went on to direct the sequel and also went on to direct the remake of Robocop, which wasn't that great. Now, I've heard great things about Elite Squad, and when I see it, I just picked it up in a blind buy. Who knows what it's going to be like? Next up is a trilogy of horror movies that I've heard fantastic things about. I haven't seen. Everybody tells me the first one and the second one are great, but I picked up the three that's available so far. They are Wreck, Wreck 2, and Wreck 3 Genesis. The Fighter. David O. Russell's movie from 2010 that starred Christian Bale and Mark Wahlberg. I really enjoyed this. Christian Bale's performance is fantastic and it's something I've been wanting to revisit for a while. Just so happens that as soon as I pick it up, it appears on Netflix. But another Blu-ray for the ever-growing collection. One of my favourite recent directors is Ryan Johnson. I absolutely adore Brick. Brick is one of my favourite movies. Definitely in the top five. I absolutely adore that movie. Now, Looper. His third movie it was one of my favourites that came out a couple of years ago uh, with Bruce Willis and Joseph Gordon-Levitt and it was one of the movies that Bruce Willis actually acts and tries in. It was a great, fantastic time travel movie. Uh, if you haven't seen that, I urge you to go into it. If you haven't seen Brick, what the hell are you doing? Stop this video, go and get it, watch it. It's an amazing, amazing movie. But in between those two movies, Ryan Johnson made The Brothers Bloom. This movie was very underwhelming when I watched it. I was hoping for so much more. It stars Mark Ruffalo, Rachel Wise, and Adrian Brody. I don't know what I was looking for after uh, Brick. I maybe been looking for a bit too much, so I seen this uh, fairly cheap in a second-hand store. I thought I'd pick it up, give it another try. And you know, I'm a completist. I need to have certain collecting movies, and I've got Looper, I've got Brick, and now I've got his second movie. I can't wait to see what he does with the Star Wars movies, um, and that's his next up, Star Wars Eight. Can't wait for that either. I'm a huge Hitchcock fan and you know a lot of people have tended to recreate the magic that the man had or, or his kind of tales to try to do something similar and a lot of them come nowhere near what he was trying to achieve. One of the movies I saw recently that I absolutely loved and I, I think it's a fantastic movie with a, a, an amazing, amazing performance by Matthew Good is the movie Stoker. Directed by Chan Park Book, the guy who did Old Boy, Lady Vengeance, Sympathy for Mr Vengeance. It's an amazing film. Uh, this is definitely up my street. It was one. It was in my top ten the year it came out. Um, another one that you should definitely check out. Recently, um, I've been so hyped about the upcoming Inherit Vice. I can't wait to see what Paul Thomas Anderson does next. And I was looking through my collection for one he has that I could watch. And you know what? I, the only thing I found was There Will Be Blood and The Master, which I've seen loads. I wanted to dig further back, so I went on to buy a movie. Can't buy Magnolia for some reason, so ended up with. Boogie Nights, a movie I've not seen in years, but you know what? I can't wait to watch it again. Um, it was fantastic at the time, a little off-putting. It's been a few years since I've seen it, you know, and I, I can't wait to get right back into this world. I'm also in a Martin Scorsese phase at the moment, um, especially after The Wolf of Wall Street. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I've been digging back into his back catalogue and movies that I've only seen once, I've given it a try. And I recently picked up Gangs of New York. I can't really remember too much about this. I remember one big battle scene, um with the gangs coming together but you know what it's it's been a few years removed why not pick it up and give it another shot next up was a when i was in picking up some uh, shopping and i just happened to look at the shelf and there it was you know a movie that i haven't seen in a good 15 maybe even 20 years and that is top gun you know what can't wait to see goose iceman maverick all back again uh, another blind buy that i picked up i was in a second hand shop again and i happened to see sinkadoki 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 Something like that. Think it off, New York. Um, I've heard weird things about this. It's written by Charlie Kaufman and directed by Charlie Kaufman, the same man that brought us Adaptation and uh, Being John Malkovich. So, you know, it says the Smash Hit Comedy of the Year. 
you know, something strikes me that this isn't going to be a laugh out loud comedy, but I'm really looking forward to watching this. Like I said before, I'm already apologising for this blurry. You know, I'm a completist. There's certain movies I've got to have, you know, and if I've already got several other ones, there's a chance that I'm possibly going to pick it up. You know, I've got the original St uh, Spider Man trilogy. I picked up The Amazing Spider Man, which I did kind of like. I loved the relationship between Andrew Garfield and Emma Stone. I thought that was the key of the movie, and that's what worked so well. I went and seen The Amazing Spider Man 2 at the cinema last year, and it was absolutely atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. But you know what? I picked it up anyway because I could pick it up for £3. You know, it's fairly recent. I may never watch it, but it was sitting nicely on the shelf next to the other Spider Man movies, and I've got all five now, so I can relax. Also, when I was in the second dance floor, I managed to pick up Godzilla, one of my favourite movies from last year. It was really just an edge of the seat uh, thrill ride. I did have problems with the movie, and that was everything to do with the humans. Whenever the humans were on screen, it just wasn't that good. You know, it was, it, you know, get back to the monsters. I want to see what the monsters got to do. I want to see these giant monsters fight, and destroy the, the, the planet, destroy the city around about them. That was great. Humans, not that great. But Godzilla was an enjoyable watch and I'm looking forward to coming back to see it again. I always end my videos with the steel books that I've picked up and I've only picked up one since my last Blu-ray uh, pickup video and this one is kind of a special one because it is one of my favourite directors is Stanley Kubrick and I managed to pick up this Doctor Strangelove. Anyway, Doctor Strangelove is one of my favourite comedies of all time. It is a riotous laugh. It is a pastiche on war movies and, you know, it's it's one of Kubrick's best. And Kubrick made a lot of good movies. Everything he touched was, was fantastic and pristine and so over. And I get to add this next to my steelbook collection of off Kubrick movies that I've got. I've got The Shining, I have got Full Metal Jacket and what's the other one? A Clockwork Orange. So I've now got the four steelbook of Stanley Kubrick's. I'm just hoping that the rest of them came out in that format so I can have a nice little steelbook section on my, on my wall. My collection. This is my third update of the year, my blue reviews. I am going to have to slow down. I am buying far too many that I can't even get around to watching most of them. I already know that I've got a couple more in the post coming. I'm going to have to calm down. But, you know, a good haul so far. Uh, you know what? I'm going to count how many I've got and I'm going to put something up here. Look at that number. That's how many I've bought. This amount. This amount is how many I've bought since the start, since the first of January. That's far too many. I need to calm down. I need to stop it. So I'll see you next time for another blurry update, and I hope you're going to keep watching. And I'll be doing more movie reviews. Upcoming will be Inherent Vice, which I can't wait to watch. Um, Kingsman: The Secret Service, which you know I'm really excited for. I hope it's going to be a kick-ass esque movie. And uh, Jupiter Ascending, which I'm kind of scared about. I don't know what it's going to be like. I really like the Wachowskis. I think some of their movies are absolutely amazing. And then there's the Matrix sequels. I'll see you next time for another movie review. I'm Graham, and this is Mandy Film.